My teenagers are still doing good. And that's their third different type of feeder. I have a, um, a piece of uh, two by four screwed on the bottom of it to raise it higher. Because I've been trying the different feeders and raising them and they're at an age now to where ah, you are not getting out of there. Don't even think about it. <laughs> and it's too cold. You cannot go in Chicksville because it's way too cold. And the teenagers are in there right now. But, so we'll try that feeder and see if we can keep a little, just a little bit less shavings out of there. And they got the big waterer now. And I got it up, turn that pan upside down. Got to get everything raised up so you don't kick stuff in it. Huh. Huh, girls and boys. I know. I took your heat plate out so you can't stand on top and jump out. You just, I know you want out. You are not getting out. And the babies are doing good. They're all running about. Speedy Gonzalez. Had to clean a poopy butt yesterday. One today. Got to clean them poopy butts. I still haven't eaten in a cap. I'll probably change that this weekend. And upgrade their feeder. It's one of those, you know, smaller ones, but a regular feeder instead of a jar cap. Huh, yeah. And then we'll get your wing sexed this weekend, too. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's doing good, though. You can come out. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna grab you. <laughs> <laughs> I put that little thing down there from the stand on but I just wanted to add to the video um, about the heat plates now I like this one you know it's got the uh, heater or brooder you know and it's you can use it so long but it only goes so high so I only have one more notch to put it on. And as you see, these aren't even a week old. And if they stood up, you know, their head would touch that. And of course it's radiant heat, it's not gonna burn them, it's not that hot. And, what George? So you can also take these legs off and they also comes with these that you can turn it on its side and, you know, they'll stand up on the side. So, there's different attachments and stuff to it. You can also hang it on a wall, um, which if you look on my back videos, the brooder inside the Chicksville shed, I do have one of these hanging on the wall in there. And I have it on heat, not brooder, um, because normally they're older when they go out there, a little bit older. Um, but what I found on Amazon, and I've got different sizes. This is the biggest one I could find. And this is 16 by 24 and it does not come with a thing to put heat or brooder on there but there's other things like because of these kind of legs you can take these legs off and because they've got the holes there on the corners you can put a chain on this and hang it from the ceiling also without the legs so you can raise it and lower it however you want so it depends on the size of you know how long you're going to use it you know, and what season it is, where you've got your chickens or chicks or whatever. Um, but the reason I like these legs better, look how much higher you can go with using that if you use the legs. <laughs> so that's why I like these legs better. And I paid, I found this on Amazon the other day, I just got it delivered. Um, I paid as much for this big one as I did this one. Now I understand it's got the control, it's got different accessories and stuff to it, but 
you know, it depends on how many chicks you're going to raise. And I've got, you know, the small one. I've got two of these. Now i got the big one. Um, I think that's it. So what I'm learning is as I'm rotating and raising chicks in a constant, <laughs> constant way, I'm needing different sizes for however many chicks I've got. So this is the first time that I'm, I've got two incubators going at the same time. Those are the neighbor's eggs. Those are my eggs, but I'm donating them to him. Um, and he wants 50 chicks <laughs> by April, by Easter. Um, I do have my own specialty chicks that I'm going to raise and sell coming in February. So I may have to take a break. It depends. But this is where I'm learning to get rotations, different brooders, different sizes together. And I'm only keeping them for until they get fully feathered. What well, baby? So my toddlers here will be ready for him to pick up in another couple weeks. And so therefore by then, these chicks will either stay in this one because there's not that there's only there's not that many of them in here. What, I think there's nine of them. I forget now. So, if I get more chicks even out of these two, then they'll go in the long one where the toddlers are. Um, and then I'll just raise these in here. If I have to, I can separate them into two different pop-open brooders. Because it's winter um, and cold, I don't want anybody, you know, I'm not, I just don't want to have chicks, raising chicks out there in the shed. Um, in Georgia, we don't get that severe weather. Right now, it's severe for everybody everywhere. Really weird stuff going on. But anyways, that's my... This is why I've got different types of um, heat plates. I don't really like heat lamps, even though I do have them outside. Because they do generate more heat. Um, than these ones. So you don't want to get these. So you just want to think about what you're going to be using these for. Where you're raising your chicks. Um, how cold it is, what season it is, you know, the heat lamps are fine. If you want to, I zip tie chain, I do everything else on my heat lamps out there. I just don't want a heat lamp inside the house, you know, and, uh, I just prefer these here. Well, baby. <laughs> so anyways, I just want to add that to it. When you're buying these, think about the use you're going to use them, how long you're going to use them, how many chicks you're going to have. You may have to get, you know, a couple different ones like I did. So I'm building up my supplies, I guess, for uh, doing this long term, if I can. Because um, I'm looking to next year raising and selling chicks myself. But right now I'm just doing it for him and it's giving me the experience for the infrastructure I need to keep the rotation going through the winter. So that's the hard part. If you can make it through the winter, you got it made through the summer. Because you don't need these as long in the summer. Huh. No. But I just wanted to add that in there. Okay, my teenagers are doing fine. And I went and picked up some more plastic so I can get it up almost to the top. Um... I don't want to seal it completely in here, so there's a little crack up there and up here. Um, but I got all the way to the floor, because those blankets just wasn't holding enough heat in here, because I had it open up there, but then I went and bought a new chain, because I just had a bungee cord there, and it made me nervous. So, that's not going to fall. And they're doing good. And I brought them in some fresh water. They still have feed. And this water here, it was a little frozen, but it's starting to thaw out. Um, I lowered the lights some, so to get a little bit more warmer down there. And again, I got some new chains, so I had a longer piece. I only had a short piece left. I thought I had more chain than that left, so I bought, I bought extra today. <laughs> so they should be nice and cozy in here. Oh, girls, you'll be fine. Yeah, at least my fingers aren't freezing in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you see I got 
I couldn't take it all the way up, but that's enough. Still some, you know, airflow going in there so it don't get stinky, stinky or, or moisture or anything like that. So it's not the best of job. It's the best I can do. And of course the door's plastic separately so I can get in and out. And then I also have the window done because um, the blankets and stuff everywhere was just not letting any light in. And I could not see in here. And then I just kind of threw their blankets down at the bottom there. Just, I had to roll up my excess plastic. It's a mess in here, but you know what? It's okay until it gets, we get through this below freezing weather. So I think I have them set up. They should be good. they will help hold some more heat in. Got the chains on the lights, got the lights lowered a couple inches more. Um, I don't want to get too close to the straw. And I got some, they're going to get some light in there from out here. And the windows should be pretty good. I mean, there are, are going to be some little breezes and stuff coming in because it's not sealed every way. That's one thing I'm wanting to fix this summer or this spring. I just didn't think about it. You know, it's like there's like little cracks that have to be filled in, stuff like that. But for now, they're good. So I'm going to go in and get some more stuff done. <laughs> 